they just swarmed on our house. Like the fireman said it was like a cloud of bees. Yeah, a cloud of bees, an aggressive swarm of bees left a Phoenix family heartbroken and frustrated. That family did try to fight, but was forced to watch helplessly as the bees killed two of their dogs. Our Marissa Wingate here with the story. Marissa? Patty, firefighters say it looked, as you said, like a giant dark cloud hanging over the house. Family members say at first they were running in and out trying to save their dogs, but they were getting stung dozens of times, too. You can hear him whining right yeah. now. He's one of the survivors from Thursday's bee attack outside the Tompkins house. We lost two pets, two of our dogs. You know, dogs are like family. And then we don't know if we're going to lose another one yet or not. They lost this Dalmatian and this pit lab mix. One of their Rottweilers is still in the hospital. He's pretty bad. I mean, he won't eat. He won't hardly walk. And these are big dogs. I mean, not little dogs that these bees killed. I mean, they're like 100 pounds at least. Robert Tompkins says it was all of a sudden bees swarmed his back porch. Literally thousands and thousands and thousands. I mean, you could hear them outside just Robert and his wife rushed to save their four dogs you see it in the movies and you don't think it's like that it is exactly like that they just swarm on you I mean I had bees were just covering my head and I mean and I ran in the house and I'm, I'm like pulling them out of my hair he pulled hundreds of bees inside his wife is still covered in welts too embarrassed to show her swollen face I just have a lot of knots on my head. The couple was able to get two of the dogs inside, but watched through the window as the other two lost the battle. I knew they were dying. I, I knew it, and there was nothing, absolutely nothing we could do. Firefighters believe the bees were migrating. They never found the hive. As for the dogs still at the vet, we're told they pulled at least 35 stingers just out of one of his ears. Live in Phoenix, I'm Marissa Wingate, 3TV.